Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at Never Engine Labs' new spectral suite for 2019, designed and programmed by Christian Vogel. This video is going to serve mostly as a sonic overview, looking at one of the classes in particular, the real time analysis one. But I am going to also show you what you get upon download, and of course, all the information and further documentation is in the description below. As you're going to see, it is quite expansive, so I would recommend navigating to the manual and having a read through there, and it will help make more sense of all this. Let's go ahead and get started. Welcome in, everybody. This is the new spectral suite designed by Christian Vogel at Never Engine Labs. This is the sound file you will receive upon download. You can see here that these are the builds for the Pacarana, which can run at 48 kilohertz. Just ignore the out of real time message. And over here, these are the builds for the Paca. Again, running at 48 kilohertz. Ignore the out of real time message. Pacarana users get the full suite in stereo, whereas Paca users can run the full suite in mono. And we see a few other options here for the suite, um, partial suite in stereo. There's also a standalone option for parts of the suite which in subsequent videos we'll go over these things detract delays are in here this is just a standalone version so let's go ahead and dive into the full spectral suite real time in stereo this is what it looks like it's just this one class actually expansive tons of parameter fields but nicely annotated here with the flyby help you also have your build options christian was able to find a way to script so Anywhere there's a true, it means it's going to build that option. Anywhere there's a false, it won't. So in this case, our crossing the spectrum of this sound with this sound is false, which is this input X. So that won't be in this iteration, but that is over here. Or if we made this true, it would be there. So you can see we've got a lot of different things to navigate, and it's going to be easier to just kind of see them in the VCS and then further documentation in the manual is linked in this description. So let's go ahead and just jump into this sound. It's basically one sample up here, which is a piano, and then one sample in this branch, which is a beat. Okay, here is the VCS for the sound. We see that this is the source file A. This was the piano sample I mentioned, and this is source file B. This is the drum loop we have, okay? I can basically set to gate and we can hear the piano. B, here's the drum loop. Notice our spectrum analyzer moving from right to left here. So I can do a bit of processing right off the bat here and scale the rate of playback of the samples. I can ping pong it, which means it will read through all the way to the end and then read through it backwards. If I check endless, it'll play endless repetitions. If I don't want endless, I can uncheck this and then set how many repetitions I want and then it counts it. For this, I'm just going to get things going with the drum loop. Input level is all the way up. Right away I can cut the highs, the lows. I'll continue to tweak this, but for now I'll just let everything through. Start right away with the frame shuffler here. Jitter introduces some random deviation. Our FFT size for this is at 4,096 samples. This is a balance between the tonal frames and the noise frames. So I can bring out the noise. We'll hear this more and more as we continue to add on to it, but for now I'll just lean towards the noise. And here's our balance between sample A and B. Sample B is the drum loop again, so I'm just going to 
bring us more towards that. And we'll get into some frame shaping. Keep in mind that tracks are oscillators in the resynthesis, so these are the lowest tracks or partials of the spectrum up to the highest. And again, some more of this will become apparent. I'll continue to tweak this as we tweak some of the other things. So now what I can do is send this shape to the stochastic masks by pressing this button. It's on bypass so we won't hear anything just yet. And this is actually going to mask and remove some of the spectrum. Smaller time constants will allow for more intelligible results. Larger ones, it's more diffuse. Some more in there sounds cool for now. I can then send this shape to the freeze. This is actually freezing some tracks in the spectrum. Now I've got the option to bring down the level of the unfrozen tracks. Or bring down the level of the frozen tracks. freeze. So we're just hanging. Subtract the freeze. Set, you can then grab a new a new bit or bypass all together Let's see if we change our frame shaping. out the lower end here. That's sounding cool. Down here are the formants, so I can shift the entire spectrum going negative. Notice it's not scaling the rate of playback, so it's just shifting the energy lower. The loop is flying at the same speed. Bring the shape, this shape to the formants. Positive values will bring the spectrum up.
powerful parameter. Let's get some pitch derangement here. Keep in mind that changes to these parameter fields can take a few seconds before you hear them. to the blur. Oh, we're on bypass, so we're not hearing it just yet. The larger the time, time constant, the deeper the blur. More smearing. Interpolators on, which helps smooth some things out. You can also come back here now and cut the highs. Might be nice. I'll lessen this time constant a bit. And turn off interpolate so we can look back in the highs so we can hear the difference. So without interpolation, with interpolation, offset the start times. seem like it, but this is all still just that drum loop. And of course all this frequency domain processing. If I go back to bypass, we'll snap back to the drum loop. synthesis.
nice wide width. Rotate. Supposedly a subtle effect. Rotating the spectrum. Final stereo width. Down to mono or nice wide stereo width. And then your final dB. Check out some spectrodynamics. Check out the track delays, one of the most distinct and interesting parts of this whole thing. Can bring this frame shape to the track delays. here. Emergent morphs. Reverse read. some of the time domain processing, maybe cut some of the highs. Bring out some of the noise of your frames. headphones you might 
hear this dust rotate a bit better. Take out the track delays. That's a look at the spectral suite in real time. Just uh, a lot to digest in there. Hopefully that's a, a good overview, at least to, in some sense of what you can get from this beautiful new spectral instrument designed by Christian Vogel. We will take a look at some more of the specifics like the track delays and the standalones and subsequent videos and a few other sources uh, in the processing here. Keep in mind you can feed of course your own things into this and arrive at you know entirely new sounds. So stay tuned for the other videos. Uh, thanks for watching and all the other information you need is in the description about where to get the documentation and purchase. Thanks so much and we'll see you in the next video.